Debating the pro-life position can be difficult with people who don't agree. But Stephanie Gray tackles these conversations head on. She made a big impact at a talk she gave at Google headquarters in Mountain View, California last summer. A lot of times people say, I support a woman's right to choose. We have to finish our sentence. That's not grammatically correct. Choose what? It's hanging there. I support a woman's right to choose what color shoes to wear with her outfit. Sure. What kind of ice cream she thinks is the best. Sure. But I don't support a woman's right to choose to kill an innocent child, regardless of the child's age. That Google Talk has been viewed on YouTube more than 130,000 times since it was uploaded. And Stephanie joins us now. She's president of Love Unleashes Life. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Lauren. It's great to be on. What was it like talking to Silicon Valley executives, people who are not necessarily mm -hmm. known for their conservative views? You know, I would say it was surprisingly positive. And I say that because I speak at a lot of college campuses. And I was wondering, well, I experience hostility there, like I have on college campuses. But uh, thankfully, I didn't. There was great receptivity. The audience was um, very pensive, actually. And uh, I felt that the message was well received. Did you change hearts? and minds? I believe the truth always changes hearts and minds. So yes, I would say that for sure. And I was, I was told that not only was the in-person audience uh, present, but there were uh, over 144 internal live stream Googlers watching at the various Google offices around the world that were privately tuning in to the program. Let's hear about your story. You began this pro-life outreach at the age of 18. Mm -hmm. I don't even think I knew what I was doing with my life at 18. <laughs> Tell us a little bit how that came about and where you are today. Sure. You know, when I was 18 years old, I, um, I'm a Canadian, and so I went to a pro-life conference for college students that an American came and spoke at. His name is Scott Klusendorf, and at that talk, he said, there are more people working full-time to kill babies than there are working full-time to save them. And it was like the Holy Spirit grabbed my heart in that moment, and I was challenged by God. Will you work full time to save these children, to save my children? And, and you've been doing that. You you mm -hmm. founded a company, and yeah. and you worked it for 12 years. You're still with them. I, I work uh, for the Canadian Center for Bioethical Reform, indeed, for 12 years. And then since then, I've now started my new ministry, Love Unleashes Life. And I'm focusing very much on speaking by influencing the influencers. So trying to train and form future clergy, future lawyers, and future physicians in the logic of the pro-life message so that they can take what I've found to be useful and spread it to audiences they have direct contact with. And you do that in the United States, but also in Canada. Let's give our audience a little taste mm. of what the Canadian pro-life agenda how it is faring? It's it's difficult. It's very difficult. We have a prime minister right now who is extremely pro-abortion, and uh, we have no law on abortion, which means it can happen through all nine months of pregnancy for any reason, and it's paid for by our tax dollars because of the way our medical system works in Canada. Beyond that, euthanasia has just become legal in Canada. So the pro-life movement has a lot that we are, are battling, not only to be a voice for those who are at the end of their lives and vulnerable, not only to be a voice for pre-born children, but to also fight for our rights to free speech, which is a whole other element the pro-life movement often faces in Canada. One phrase or word that you would give to a young woman who is considering an abortion. There is always hope where there is life, and that whatever difficulties we face, that when we do the right thing, even when it's hard, when we put others ahead of ourselves, that amazingly beautiful things unfold. It doesn't mean it's easy, but beautiful things will happen. Absolutely beautiful. There's a reason why you've reached hundreds of thousands of people. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you. Stephanie Gray will be speaking at the Catholic Information Center in Washington, D.C. tomorrow. You can learn more and watch the event streamed live at CICDC.org.